welcome back to my channel. So, I haven't given you guys a crazy story time in quite a while. If you're wondering who this is, this is Miss Bella. She was that blob walking around in my power of makeup challenge. <laughs> and now she's getting up. See, she's beautiful. Um, I'm... Well, you saw this if you saw my mukbang video, but I'm, um... Watching them too for a lady that her well let her drink Irma. But anyway, this story time is about the but the drunkest I've ever been. So okay. This was about a year ago and this was Alexis's twenty first birthday. And me, Aaron and Alexis are all good friends because Aaron Aaron. Alexis has a baby by um, Aaron's brother and I just woke up so if I'm like crazy like not making sense and that's why I look like a trash bucket right now because Aunt Flo decided to pay us a visit and <laughs> I was like girl can't you wait till the end of the month but she was like no I'm here to stay so but, okay, so this was Alexis's 21st birthday, and me and Alex are our friends because she's got Lily. So, I was like, and Aaron had already invited me like a month, this is actually April actually, so Aaron had actually invited me like a month before she said, hey, we're having this big party for Alexis at my house, I really want you to come, so I was like, okay cool that's fine I'll try to remember and I remembered and I was actually supposed to come that day and help both of the girls make jello shots but my mom forgot to take me over there and I didn't get the help so okay one thing to keep in mind is that Alexis was dating this guy at the time and he was a little interesting he um i guess they had been drinking already because of it being alexis's birthday they went out drinking or whatever and he um he kept drinking and so they get to alex these aaron's house to make the shots and i can't remember this exactly but Aaron said that he took Lillian and Alexis home and then came back to Aaron's apartment uninvited, shit faced drunk, walked in, passed out on her couch, and fell asleep. And she started freaking out because, especially living by herself and being a female, this is her first time living by herself, and like. Me and Aaron are five foot three and five foot one. We're little people, so <laughs> anytime somebody bigger than us or somebody that's male that we're not comfortable with is like around, we're like, uh. so this guy passes out on her couch and she's just like, oh fuck. So I can't remember if she called the cops or what happened. I think she did end up calling the cops and they had to sit there and wait for his mom to show up all the way from Port Orange to come get him because he he drove his truck there and they obviously didn't want to drive so his mom had to pick him up <laughs> and like I Aaron texted me what happened and I'm like oh shit so I already knew this was going to be some shit I had that feeling in my stomach like oh god here we go here we go and like every time I'm over there some shit happens I have other story times too but okay so it's about I want to say almost 9 o'clock 8 30 when I get there and it's me Alexis Aaron and Aaron was pregnant at the time so keep that in mind too and um, Andrew and Cheyenne, which were good friends with Alexis, but I, I know Andrew, so 
I didn't know that these were the people that were going to be there. I just knew we were having a party in okay, cool. So, like, we pull up, and my mom's like, holy shit, there's all these people outside. And I mean, it was only like six, but still, that's a lot for a little baby apartment. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, God, here we go. And, um... My mom's like, my mom has this rule, like, if you ever don't feel safe, I don't care what fucking time it is, you call me and I'll come get you. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I know. She's she's like, don't do drugs, don't do anything you don't feel comfortable with. I'm like, mom, I know, sorry, I just ate, so if I'm a little burpy, forgive me, but she's like... She's like, if you don't feel safe, I'll come get you, blah, blah, And I'm like, Mom, okay. And I think I went to Arby's before. Yeah, I think I went to Arby's before I left. And, or something. No, I had a couple pieces of chicken or something. So I had some stuff in my stomach, not a lot. And so, I had... So I started off with a couple of jello shots that the girls made. And they were in the freezer, so they were cold. So, I was, like, kind of getting a couple jello shots in. I'm kind of, like, I'm talking to Cheyenne, and she's showing me pictures, because, um, her and Andrew have a baby together. And I'm, like, oh, he's so cute. And, like, last thing I remember is we were playing Truth or Dare, and what's that other game? Um... Never Have I Ever, and when we started playing Never Have I Ever, we played Never Have I Ever first, and I was like, y'all are not going to know my secrets from while I'm sober, I'm getting twisted, like, let's do this shit, so I just start throwing them back, and with Never Have I Ever, if you've never played that game, if you've done something, you drink, and... <laughs> Yeah, and one of my dares for Truth or Dare was to take three straight shots of vodka. And me on vodka is like, I gave myself the nickname Slay Sydney. Let's just leave it at that. Me on vodka is very interesting. <laughs> and so, mind you, it's probably the cheapest vodka in the world. Alexis paid for all the alcohol. So... We owe, and this is the thing that kind of pissed me off. Erin, I love you if you watch this. This is not directed towards you ever because she was pregnant and she'd eat. So, everybody's like, let's order pizza. And I'm like, does anybody else have money besides me? Because I'm not paying for all this shit by myself. So, somebody better tip in. And luckily, it was the deal that... that Domino's had that it was the two items for $5.99 a piece so we got two pizzas and everybody was like oh I'm not gonna eat because I didn't chip in well that's not what the fuck happened everybody ate the two pizzas that I bought with my own money that I never got reimbursed for and I'm, I didn't say anything to Erin about her not eating because she's pregnant like that's just mean so I just let it go, whatever, and then, last thing I remember is playing Truth or Dare, and then them having to literally pick me up, because I could not walk straight, and <laughs> I remember them having to put me on the toilet, because I couldn't do that either, and I remember them, oh yeah, I was trying to change my shirt. And for some reason, Sydney thought the bright idea to not have a bra on before she left out. So I was changing my shirt and I came out and, yeah, Sydney came out in front of everybody without a shirt on. <laughs> like, this is why I don't drink alcohol this bad anymore because I'm, I'm never like that. What? Okay, so I'm not usually like that at all. <laughs> Before 
I drank on an empty stomach like that. That was the only time I've ever drank on an empty stomach. I never got sick. And every time I do that on an empty stomach or mix alcohol, I get sick. <laughs> and this is Bud, by the way. And... If I remember stuff out of order, then I'm sorry, but now I remember that um, the boyfriend actually came back, and um, <laughs> he he walked into the party, and a lot, because we were like, I think we were playing through the dare, we were like, I dare you to kiss her, and he kissed her, but he, her ex walked, well, her ex now, but the boyfriend walks into the party, and Travis, her and Travis are sitting like this, he's got her arm around her, and we're just like, oh shit, and we're basically filling the boys in on what happened earlier, and the boys are like, I want to have a conversation with him, <laughs> we're like, no, no, so, that happens, and then, I'm so drunk I can't even function, so they're having to put me... They put me in bed with Aaron. I puke like I I remember I looked in the mirror and I just puked my guts out and it was bright red because we had pizza. It was attractive <laughs> and so I remember they had me laying in bed and I'm like trying to get the boys <laughs> to cuddle with me and snuggle with me. Uh, Aaron said I was cuddling with her at one point sorry, love you, <laughs> and I kept asking her where her baby was, because the crib was in her room, and my brain kept going, oh shit, the baby's not here, oh shit, the baby's not here, so I kept, where's the baby, where's the baby, and, okay, I woke up about 3 or 4 in the morning, and I'm laying on the couch in the living room, they moved me, and, I roll over and I have to puke and I just puke and yeah. So at this point, Cindy's sleeping in a pile of her own puke. Attractive, right? I know. I know. <laughs> and so I wake up the next morning. There's I had like not hair like this, but I had like crochet um, twists and. Um, they were, there's puke literally and that like matted in my hair. Um, oh, at one point Travis was bitching that somebody stole his cigarettes, but when I got there, everybody had smoked them all. He just doesn't remember. And so we woke up, me, him and Alexis walked at 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. to go get him cigarettes. And I can barely function, so I'm just like, ugh. Like, I need something. Nobody had any pot, of course. So I'm just like, I need something. So we're sitting out on the, like, porch. We're watching the sun come up, me and Alexis. And I'm like, can I have a cigarette, please? So the cigarette definitely helped for about a couple hours. And then my mom came meet me, and I got in the car. And my stomach was like, no, bitch, no. And I couldn't even, like, I made it into the kitchen and... Thank God I keep a trash can on the end of my kitchen. My kitchen is like, you can walk in both ways. It's a galley. So I was just like, no. <laughs> so yeah, I will never drink like that again. Um, remember to pace yourself next time. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Stay weird. Stay true to yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye.